Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be updating you on all of the latest filming stuff from last night. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, I'd be ever so grateful. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers as quickly as possible, so if you could hit that subscribe button, that'd be great. Our next stop is 14,100. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you don't already, as I post my Doctor Who opinions regularly over there. But with that said, let's get into the video. So thanks to at Acrolvum, I apologise if I'm saying that wrong, we have some new shots of the filming at Camden. This first shot contains David Tennant and Yasmin Finney appearing to be looking up at some sort of alien craft. As you can see, David's hair is fully spiked up here. The following one seems to be the 10th Doctor in some sort of distress, maybe about to kick into a run for some reason. You can also see the studio light here. The third one shows him looking suspiciously at some other person, and you can see Yasmin in the background here as well. And the fourth one is much the same as the first one, with them looking into the sky, wondering what's going on. We also have our first look at the new Sonic Screwdriver in motion. I can't really tell much more about it, but it's definitely a new design. I've seen some people say it's 12 Sonic. It definitely isn't. It's definitely a new design. We also have video footage of Catherine Tate's Don and Noble on set as well. We also have this shot of the taxi courtesy of Jude, aka Pig and Tea Break. Doctor Who is filming. That's Sean's taxi, and there's me, and there's Zach. As well as apparent confirmation from him that someone on set told them they are working on a Christmas special. So that would mean Christmas specials are confirmed. I did see some people say, oh, you know, the lights that are on the building that I pointed out on Twitter the other day, they are just always there. There's nothing Christmassy or new about them. But the thing about that is, one, why would they keep the lights on if they didn't want them in the shop? For two, we have another scene which I can go into a bit more detail of, thanks to some DMs from some other people on set, talking about Donna and the Doctor carrying packages, which does kind of imply Christmas shopping. And for three, it's definitely not a Christmas 2023 special because I feel like that would be too early. So I'm reckoning Christmas 2022 is definitely on the table, which is very exciting. But as mentioned previously, I had some DMs from someone who was on set, so I'm going to read those out to you now. The whole Donna boxes thing that was said last night is completely true. One thing about the boxes, though, is that they are just plain cardboard and definitely not Christmas-wrapped gifts. The Doctor runs up to Donna, takes off the top, pauses, puts them back. Donna says thanks a lot, sarcastically, and calls Rose. She comes and they speak for a few seconds, which I couldn't hear. Then they look up at a UFO for a while and the doctor scans it on his screwdriver. Interestingly, he turns his screwdriver to the side to look at the reasons, to look at the readings, exactly how Jody does it now. But one thing that was missed last night, after the UFO goes, there's an explosion in the distance and the crowd is all surprised until suddenly everyone stops talking about it and acts like it didn't happen. Donna goes about her business as normal and we hear her say, well, nice to meet you, skinny man. So she definitely doesn't remember him at this point in the story. On that note, actually, when the UFO comes out, Rose says something along the lines of, oh, look, it's a UFO, and Donna replies, you're just as bad as my granddad, or something like that. But I'm certain after the distant UFO explosion, the crowd turns away and acts like it didn't happen. Anyways, keep up the good work, that's all from me. That's very interesting, that kind of implies that there's some, some weird stuff going on with the aliens being hidden. It actually kind of gives me weirdly uh, vibes of Dimensions in Time, when the Doctor and companions are in different time zones to the residents of Albert Square, so therefore the people in the square think that they're all insane for saying, oh my god, aliens are here, because they can't see them. That kind of gives me vibes of that. You gotta clear the streets, you're in terrible danger! What's your game? You gotta get away from here! Yeah. Who says? You start showing me around, you'll know about it. It's no good. They're in different time zones. To them, we're the strangers. Also, interesting to note here that Donna doesn't remember the Doctor, so I assume the memory arc is going to be kept intact to some degree. We are going to see a continuation of that arc somehow. Maybe she'll get her memory back somehow. I've seen some theories that the memory is encased in her daughter, Rose Temple Noble, who's Yasmin Finney's character but I can't confirm that because obviously it's just speculation, really. We also have some more posts from Davy Boy, which I'll read now. A source didn't take any photos from the overnight shoot, but I heard scene filmed overnight was them recording something they rehearsed yesterday, just with extras involved this time. They wrapped at about 5am, oh, and Rachel T was absolutely directing this scene. One, when the doctor removes the boxes to help Donna, as soon as he realises it's her, he puts the boxes back quickly, and turns right toward us. The moment that hit me was Taylor's face as the camera had him in the foreground and Donna in the back. The sheer horror on his face encapsulated his sadness and fear of bumping into his old friend again. 
that can never know about him. It was also another fun moment as Tennant clapped and danced to gear himself up for a take where he runs into the taxi. He also slipped on the damp pavement, not a part of the script folks, but one wishes they kept it in, such a doctory thing. So yeah, that box scene is pretty much confirmed now. Multiple people have said basically the same thing. So that scene they were rehearsing during the day and then they did it in the night shoot, basically. And we have some visual evidence of them filming that scene as well. Also, I believe they're filming at 5 p.m. at Wembley tonight, so if they are filming, I'll go live and I'll let you know any updates that happen from there. But that's all the updates I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later. Shout out to Debs Iona, Shane Smith, Ree Keffin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Hash Shandy Coot, Patrick Mewson, Simon Ashley, Steve Safaro, Andrew Townsend, Alex Robbins, Michael Dykes, Paul Bryden, Sam Yates, Michael Rhodes, Jerry the Meerkat, Heretic, Bibliotecaria Nerd, Cameron Jefferson, John M, Meta Hoovian, Ben Freeman, Andrew Evanson, Lucy, Josh Keck, JM97, Captain Obvious. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.